Hello, Tinkers Gamers. It's a momentary genius here with a new style of video because uh, I think we need to talk about something that can be advantageous and also relaxing in this game, and that's camping. Because there are times where you just want to chill and relax, but at the same time, you just want to blow up tanks. And there's nothing wrong with finding yourself a sweet spot, a nice ridge line, some decent cover, with an open field, and lo and behold, members of your team, there's a nice little vanguard that's bouncing around the map, lighting up all those crazy fools on the other team being stupid, rushing out, or, you know, in Cold War. Hey, those mother ducking fools rushing around that true vision you're like ooh there's a tracking shot ooh there's a tracking shot bring that spotted in bring that assisted in and oh did I accidentally ammo rack you with my missile sucks to be a fool rushing in all YOLO style now also camping can be very advantageous for tanks that are perhaps on the slower side, under armor side, or you're in the process of upgrading your tank so it's not at its full potential, as is the case with the TR-850 here I'm in. Now, I'm not really interested in fully upgrading this tank as I really want the TR-125, so I'm not gonna charge in. I don't really have the uh, H or horsepower can't just say HP because I can confuse you. Horsepower to be keeping up with any of the Leopards, Mobats, the beautiful T-72s, some of the M60s. So, this is a tank. This is a camper's tank. Mm, like the FE-4211 except without the armor and gun accuracy. So thank you. Think about what's a nice camping spot to find with my boys. Bring the honeys along. Crack open a cold one. Sit back and really hope all these bird dog and armadillos, BMPs, find me something to shoot. As is the case, well, that's the dead tank I shot. It happens. But here, Fred Vang, find this nice spot that can be very advantageous to tanks with low or high gun depression. Or low gun depression, depending. Eight degrees, nine degrees. Ugh, dealing with five degrees here. But it's not all pointless to camp because, A, I know there's at least four tanks over here. Well, now five. The ones that haven't been detected yet are the T-72A. I've seen a missile fly across my screen, so I know there's at least most likely BMP. It's a BMP-1 later in the future, you'll find that out. But I found a nice spot. The enemy can't shoot, mostly because my teammates are also supporting me for a change. It happens. But they actually work to keep the enemy distracted. And um, I hate to say this, but I think my uh, opponents on the team didn't know where they wanted to go, and we're spending too much time trying to find where they were going. So, like, the T-72A thought he had a spot, and then he moved open across open terrain, and eh, I was able to put a little hurting on him. But not all tanks are meant to charge in. We've all seen the little thing telling us on the side, telling us all oh, what the tanks do, but... There are some tanks that just, they're hybrids. You know, we've all had the medium heavies, we've all had the light mediums, we have all the mediums you can play as a heavy. We've all had the TDs with the frontal armor, like the Object 268, version 5, that can you can play like a heavy, but it has a reload time of an artillery piece. Eh. And, ah, oh, just some of these YOLOers and people sending you those comments, thanks, camper, for doing nothing, and it's like, Hey, 
I blasted you apart from while well, you were rocking back and forth from this rock. And all I got to say to that is be sporadic, be erratic, and they'll never know when to shoot you. And I'm assuming this BMP-1 that just shot smoke in front of it after I shot it from its left side was a new player. So remember, folks, when you're taking fire and you're going to discharge your smoke, Make sure it's in the direction of the fire you're taking so the tank that's shooting you can't actually see you. There's your pro tip for this video. Now, another point of camping that everyone needs to learn is leading the shot. The upside to being still and not moving around a lot is you have a stable platform to fire from. It's great, is if the enemy is staying still. They're not gonna be, because if you stay in motion, you're more likely to survive. Unless you've got someone with a good gun depression, or not, dep well, good gun depression, good gun actually, and uh, has an understanding of what the shot, the uh, velocity of the rounds are. Like here, I'm sitting back cool and collective, and like with that, eh, 2,000 damage. Decent assist, hey man, 3,000, fine. But yeah, every once in a while you gotta charge in because while you're camping, make sure to look at the map. Keep the map in mind at all times. Know where your team is going because they can tell you where the enemy team is. And at the very least, you might know when you're suddenly don't have a team around you. And tanks like the 850 or any slow tanks like the 54 to 11, knowing where your team is can make tell you when you need to move so you don't get caught out so here I am thought I was gonna help a teammate out I didn't thankfully the teammate up top helped me out so I was able to secure two kills booyah and all I had to do was sit back and ooh, look at that I've got full HP that's health points so suddenly all these other tanks on the enemy team that are low health or well slightly full health I'm suddenly got an edge on them I can take a hit, and I can deal more hits. Thank God for a fast reload. So, I get it. When I'm in my MOBAT, every once in a while, I get that fizzy feeling down south, and I just gotta charge in fast and hard. And I usually get stupid results, as in I get sent to the garage in like a minute le or less. It happens. That's the name of the game, because this is a video game. It's about having fun. Some people just want to get on in the weekend and drive around the circle of the armadillo. Can't blame them. But hey, remember, if you're camping, make sure you know how to shoot. So, with that said, chill out. I hope your RNG is in your favor. Keep the tracks on the ground. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Ciao, fellow tinkers.